Here's a little of what God has to say about marriage. Proverbs 18, verse 22. He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. Love is the creator of our favorite memories and the foundation of our fondest dreams. It is a promise that is always kept, a fortune that can never be spent, and a seed that can flourish even in the most unlikely places. True love never fades, but grows and evolves as the two of you go through life together. A good marriage must be created and each of you will learn as you go. Tim and Alyssa, you two are at the beginning of a wonderful and profound journey that will challenge and strengthen each of you in ways that neither of you can imagine. Scripture also teaches us four things today that we'll hear about marriage. First and foremost, marriage honors God. Secondly, marriage is a precious covenant. Third, a picture of God's love. And fourth, a loving relationship that comes from God. Tim, I've known you since you were in 10th grade, and you had a firm commitment to Christ your entire life. Ever since I've known you, you have never wavered in who you are. You are one of the most steady and predictable and wonderful men I've ever met. Alyssa, as I've gotten to meet you, I have been blown away about how kind, gentle, and teachable you are. Whenever we go to scripture, whenever we heard from God, you wouldn't question it, you wouldn't wonder about it, you'd say, that's what God calls me to, so that's what I wanna do. The level of love that you have for God is admirable, and it challenged my faith, and it will support Tim's faith. Thank you so much for loving each other so well. Today, you are stepping into a promise, a covenant, a deep, lasting commitment. It is unwavering and it is unbreakable. You are to love each other and be with each other because after today, you will be one. My sweet Alyssa, my love, from the moment we began to see each other on that cold November morning, walking through the park, you have made me the happiest man alive. And from that night, I knew that this day would come. Dear Timothy Daniel Allen, you are a constant source of inspiration for me, motivating me to be the best version of myself your emphasis on family and faith, for which I am grateful, only adds to your already remarkable character. There is no one like you. Almost as though God has spent the last several years of our lives molding and shaping us so that we would fit together perfectly. I envision a future where our family embarks on hobbit-like adventures together, where we eagerly embrace the unknown with open arms and trust in God's will for us. Amidst it all, we find comfort in our unwavering support we provide one another. My love for you is fierce and unending. I know that God loves me because he gave me you. Most importantly, I promise to submit to you as Christ has called me to and to care for you in the way you truly deserve. To stand firmly beside you because together we will conquer anything that comes our way. I love you. I am so excited to be able to pronounce you husband and wife. Tim, you may kiss your bride.
For the first and only time, I'd like to present you Tim and Alyssa Allen. And I promise to love you with everything I have and without fail. I love you with all of my heart, and I always will. I want to express my deepest gratitude for the privilege of being part of your guys' wedding, and for getting to witness the bond grow between you two this past year. It's been great. May Tim and Alyssa continue to be blessed with love, happiness, and endless joy. Everyone wants to see their best friend married happily. But as someone dear to me once said, I have the extremely rare blessing of seeing my two best friends get married to each other. I often prayed for you individually to find the person God had chosen for you to marry. And I could not have asked for a better pairing between two more loving people. So I want to say here in the presence of God and all you fine people, Tim and Alyssa, may your sons be strong of arm and heart, your daughters full of grace and wisdom. May your house be a place where you can find peace and rest. And all the days left to you, may God bless you and keep you, and may his face shine upon you all the days of your life. Ha ha ha!